I, it just uh, reminds me of my time when I was working with the Dell. Uh, it has been taken as their CSR project, and I was associated with SCRT schools where we collected some uh, thousand kgs of e-waste, and it has been uh, taken up by Dell to the e-waste. But it should be a regular process; it should not come to an end. So, thank you for this. And now I'm coming up with few more questions uh, with uh, to you. With financial projects always guiding career choices. how would we motivate more student to consider this as an option how people can become like you what will be your message like that see i think uh, uh, whenever uh, we think about a career option obviously money is important money is really important for every project uh, for every person to be successful you need to earn some good money and so uh, but at the same time i would say i really uh, take pride in my job simply because of the fact yes i am doing good for myself but i am also doing something for my country i am also doing something for the society for the community so i think uh, yes uh, money is the main objective but for any business if you can if you can plan it in a proper way if you can use the technology in the right manner if you can go with the government reforms of course you will be making money for yourself so so the, uh, that is obviously a primary thing for me as well but at the same time when you can have an option where you can serve your community as well as do good for yourself i think that's always the number one option for exactly. someone like me yes exactly it could be a career choice and it could uh, be a thing for pride like you you have taken it as a pride for yourself and definitely it's a pride for us also to have a generation of yours thinking in this manner so my next question to you is how can e waste management be done ensuring safety for all on a micro level on a micro on the micro level i think uh, simply identification of e waste is important so first of all we have to know that what exactly is e waste i think when i said that pencil battery example when i gave that it must have uh, rang a bell because you know when even if we, when we are talking about electronic waste our mind automatically goes to television mobile phones but we don't give any kind of weightage to these kind of things because that is done very unconsciously you just throw it in the dustbin so identification is important once you can identify and uh, you know that this is this kind of waste and then categorically storing and dumping so uh, you know for an individual uh, what what we can do as an individual at least we can collect our household waste we can either give it to a recycler for example when we do this on uh, the collection drives when we go out to these houses of course uh, they can give it to if that does not happen there are many ways of now reaching out to even many producers uh, these days they are running take back programs for if you go to any of the producers for example if you are buying a samsung phone uh, they are willing to take up your old phone there are take back good lucrative take back schemes implemented by the producers nowadays but as an individual i should be completely aware that i cannot give it to a kabadi wala i know what hap i should know what happens to my waste after i dump it when we buy a new mobile phone we go and talk to everyone in our family friends we do a lot of research whether this phone is good or bad how's the camera how's the battery life so similar attention should be paid a little bit of attention should be paid even after the end of life that where is my device going yeah that will bring a lot of lot of change absolutely we have to think of that that uh, e waste is something different from the other waste yeah. so the next question is apart from dismantling what are the possible ideas that students can use in the school because uh, how to collect the e waste and how to do that definitely they need some uh, guidance from you well uh, uh, dismantling is the last uh, thing this is where you completely you know uh, dismantle a product and you take out the uh, valuables uh, many things can be done first of all like our model in our model we also repair what can be repaired because ultimately repairing has the least amount of impact on the environment even if when we are dismantling there is a 1% impact 
uh, okay, we are saving 99% compared to the informal sector, but of course there is a cost of recycling uh, on the environment as well. So first thing is refurbishing. If you can refurbish or recreate it or, you know, create something uh, different out of it, that should be the first. And of course, we have been able to like, we have converted our PCBs into paper weights. So we are using that in our office. And similarly, there can be many, uh, you know, uh, many different ideas can be implemented on that. I went to a few schools, so they were making cutlery with the, with the, so this, this is the idea that I get from schools, you know, these are some of the creativity comes from these kids. Uh, so I have also uh, seen some of the like really creative ideas coming from school children uh, while dealing with e-waste. Yes, because this young uh, generation is really, really very, very enthusiastic and they come up very different ideas. So we should be open you to them, that. You give, yes. them, you give them five products, uh, uh, five students and lock them in a, in a classroom, they will come out with something. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Just come out with something nice, something innovative that probably we have not Absolutely. seen earlier. Absolutely. So the next question is, is there a serious need to choose e-waste as a potential carrier op option in India? Well, not just e-waste, I, I would say any any waste management. Well, e-waste is my sector, uh, uh, I have been doing it. As I said, I saw that value uh, in there in e-waste, but I'm sure there are other waste streams as well. For example, now electronic cars are, are coming up. So the whole automobile sector is changing after the introduction of electronic cars. Now like the lithium ion batteries will come. So in future, it's a huge pros prospectus. Now India is also coming out with the automobile policy. So similarly, your plastic recycling, uh, lithium ion battery recycling, electronic waste, all these are modern concepts. All these are modern problems. So of course, you have a, have a better opportunity while dealing with these things. But also, uh, you know, you could be in, in apparels recycling. I also uh, come across some good good startups, good concepts. They are recycling the apparels, the used apparels, used clothing. clothes. Also, uh, you know, uh, various things are done from your uh, MSW, the municipal waste that come out. There are again many, many serious initiatives coming in India. So uh, I would not say e-waste in particularly as a potential. Of course, e-waste is a really, really good career option at the moment. But it is getting competitive, more and more people are coming into it now. But waste management as a sec sector, I think it presents uh, great career opportunities for young people. Yes. So uh, there is a question in from the audience itself that at the school level, suppose they have to reach you, you have shared your number and all. But uh, how to uh, start asking a students to collect the waste or how to take it as a project? in the school level? Well, I think there could be a e-waste day, uh, with, uh, there could be a dedicated day to e-waste, probably you can do it on the earth day or somewhere. So uh, you can ask your uh, kids to get at least one, uh, you know, electronic, any, any kind of electronic waste, at least one piece from your home. You can collect it and then we as an organization can come in, we can show them some good videos, you know, just uh, uh, as a part of our awareness okay. campaign. Yeah. So we can play some videos for them, we can have some creative quiz games, uh, uh, some drawing competition, just to engage them uh, with, with the concept. This is what we have been doing and it brings great results uh, out and, and one, once they get it, I think they, they are more, more and much more creative than us. Exactly. So as a, as a school, I think you can, you can do these initiatives, uh, uh, call a professional organization uh, to create awareness, but I think this should be done on a regular basis. The one time thing does not bring that kind of a chain. We are talking about these kids here, even, even in mature people, even in adults, it just not comes through one single initiative. So you need to have multiple initiatives. It should be repeated over a period of, over, over a good period of time so that the habit is installed so that that awareness is installed in their minds. Exactly. So uh, it could be on a very micro level from the school itself where they can start up as a project and mm -hmm. ask the students as I have come across a, a few students in Delhi itself there in their school they have taken uh, e-waste as a project and they have become uh, entrepreneur now and they have started up their company in the name of EcoDump. 
so they have just tied up uh, with a few uh, big brands like amazon and flipkart and all where they are getting the re- uh, rewarding points instead of dumping the waste it's not e waste but complete waste if you are dumping your waste you are getting the rewarding points so this all can be done and uh, there are a number of ways and means the only the thing is we have to initiate it on a micro level 